Hey Matrix, welcome back to another video on mathematics. In this video, we're going to do simultaneous equation and I will be using the method of substitution. Okay, I will make it clear. I'll be using the method of substitution and we will try to solve this equation simultaneously. We are given two equations. Our first equation is 2y equal to 3 plus x and the second equation that we are given is 2xy plus 7 equal to x squared plus 4y squared. This question is taken from the November 2021 paper. I'm thinking it's question 1.2. Um, if you have the questions, you can just do it with me. And if you don't have it, you can just copy it from here. Then we can start with it. So since I say that I'm going to be using the method of substitution, the first thing is to look at my equation and to see which equation it's easier to work with so that I should put one of this term as subject of the formula. Looking at the equation, um, the, the equation one that we are given here, I can see that it is much more easier and it is can also be written in a linear form. So I can try to make x the subject of the formula in the first equation, then substitute it. Okay. So I'm going to write the two equations that we are given, but I'll be writing it in terms of one, equation one, and then I'll write the second one in terms of equation two, and then I will write the, um, the first equation in terms of x as equation three, okay? So we have 2y equal to three plus x. So this is our equation one, okay? And then this is the equation two, 2xy plus 7 equal to x squared plus 4y squared. This will be equation 2. And then I will write this in terms of x and I will write it as equation 3. So if I put x as subject of the formula in the first equation, then I get x is equal to 2y minus 3. So this is equation 3. Okay, now that I got my three equation, the next thing is to apply the method of substitution and substitute the third equation into the second equation. Okay, substituting the third equation into the second equation, then I got wherever you see x. And the second equation, then you know that you're going to substitute it into this. Then I have 2y equal to 2y minus 3 plus a 7. Then I have 2y minus 3 squared plus 4y squared. Okay. So now that I write my all my equation in terms of y, then I can be able to solve for y. Once I solve for y, then I can take the values of y, put it in any one of the equation, and solve for x. Okay, so we have 2y, 2y minus 3 plus 7 equal to 2y minus 3 squared plus 4y squared okay so this is the equation that we had previously where we stopped and then now all i have to do is, is to multiply it throughout meaning expand the bracket okay then from here i get 4y squared minus 6y plus a 7 is equal to let me try to expand this one then we have 2y minus 3, 2y minus 3, plus 4y squared. Okay. Then I have 4y squared minus 6y plus a 7. I'm still trying to multiply this throughout. So I write this term just the way it is. I just copy it down here. And then here, I'm going to expound this bracket. I didn't want to expound it everything over here because I don't want to confuse you guys. So I'm going to expound it there now. So let's just cross multiply, cross multiply it. And I'm going to get 4y squared minus 6y minus 6y plus a 9 okay p 
plus 4y squared. Okay, so this and this is a like term. Then I have 4y squared minus 12y plus a 9 plus 4y squared. Then here I have 4y squared minus 6y plus a 7. Then I also discovered that those two are also like term. Okay, let me just put it in red so that you can see it. So these two terms are also a like term. Then I have 8y squared minus 12y plus a 9. And over here I have 4y squared minus 6y plus a 7. Then now that I'm only left with this, so I can move all this term into here and equal this plus here to zero. Okay, so I have zero is equal to 8y squared minus 12y plus 9 minus 4y squared. Notice that the signs are changing because I'm moving it to the other side. Once you move the terms to the other side, then it changes the sign. This becomes a plus 6y. This becomes a minus 7. Okay, now we can look for like terms. This and this are similar. And also this and this is similar. Okay, so what's the next step? The next step that we have at 8y squared minus 4y squared, which is 4y squared. We take the signs of the bigger number. And then we have minus 12y plus 6y. Then we have minus 6y. And then here we got plus 9 minus 7. Then we got plus 2. Okay. I hope it's making sense so far. And yeah, so let's continue with it. So the next step that I'm going to do is I will use the quadratic formula. I felt like using the quadratic formula was much easier for me because all I did was just to plot everything into the quadratic formula and then plot it into my calculator. Then it did help me to solve for y. Okay, so the quadratic formula says x1 or 2 is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So now I, all I have to do is it's just determine which, my, which of my terms is a, a, which of my terms is a B, and which of my terms is a C. Okay. Then I know that my A is a 4, my B is a minus 6, and my C is a 2. Now that I know this, I just have to put it into this equation and then plot it into my calculator and find my answer. So I have x1 and 2 is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, then we, we know that a is a 4 and then b is a minus 6 and then c is a 2. So x1 or 2 is equal to minus 6 minus so that will be that will be equal to 6 so we get 6 plus or minus minus 6 squared plus minus 4 our a is a 4 and then our c is a 2 square root divided by 2 times 4 And then I take my calculator and plot everything. So I have a 6 plus square root of minus 6 squared minus 4 times 4 times a 2 divided by 
2 times of 4. Then I get x1 is equal to 1. Then x2 then x2 is equal to half. Now that I find my value of x, all I have to do is, is go back to either one of these equations and substitute the value of x and find y. So I'm going to go back to this first equation, then substitute and find the value of y. So we remember the first equation we had was 2y is equal to 3 plus x. So substituting x is equal to 1, then we have 2y is equal to 3 plus 1. Then we have a 4, we have 2y divided by 2 divided by 2, y is equal to 2. So we have when x is equal to 1, y was equal to 2. So these are point. Okay. And then if we take the same equation, now we're substituting the value of x when it's equal to half. So we got 2y is equal to 3 plus x. When x is equal to half, then we got 2y is equal to 3 plus a half. Then we got 2y is equal to 3 plus a half, which is 7 over 2. And, and then y is equal, to, is equal to 7 over 2 divided by 2, which is 7 over 4. So, when x is equal to half, then y is equal to 7 over 4. Thank you, Matric. Hopefully you enjoyed this paper and hopefully you find it useful. Don't forget to share it with your friends and find the method that works for you easily in the exam, unless if the examinator has specified which method to use. If the examinator did not specify which method to use, he just says solve simultaneously, then find what works for you.